do the what happens if your engine fails situation <laughs> under nice happy conditions but as always we're going for the steep learning curve um, so we've gone quickly through the options and um, the closest place with 24 hour access is Hollyhead but we're going to have to get a shimmy on uh, because we've got the tide going with us for five hours then the tide goes against and it's going to be difficult getting into Hollyhead. able to make um, the north um, south staff which is at the bottom of Anglesey uh, by a particular time which is about 12 o'clock isn't it Beth? One o'clock. One o'clock. Uh, damn lucky if we do it. And we'll be very lucky if we do it. was a bit so-so. The wind had died, but our reluctant engine had started for us. The calm weather meant that South Stack's infamous overfalls were actually very mild at this point, and we passed through them without too much trouble. We tucked in as close as we dared to the land until we made it round the corner into Hollyhead Bay. times we were only making half a knot over ground so the last two miles took several hours. Wow. engineer here uh, to look at um, the engine and everything because we had an issue um, with lights flickering. Um, now he's gone through everything uh, and he says it's fine. So during the engine checkup what unpleasant little discovery did we uh, come across? Uh, basically our starter motor um, we've been having problems um, with starting the engine. Well we've been on the mooring now for two nights and we've just had a little bit of a scare because when we started the engine um, off the starter motor it just wouldn't go. We were over pressed for sail and we just needed to put the engine on for a few minutes and it wouldn't start. No. Now we've replaced the battery. Now we have since found out that we've replaced the battery with the wrong battery, so we've got to get that sorted. Um, but the engine starter motor itself has got a fault on it. Um, and when it was, uh, we were just starting it up. The first time it started like a dream, but the second time we started it, it just it went into it. I'm having a hissy fit. Uh, and uh, it just wouldn't start and he says that starter motor is on the edge so what we're going to do is get the engine starter motor serviced anyway we've uh, discovered a uh, small leak uh, just coming out of the impeller so what Bev's doing now is she's dusting it with talcum powder that way we should be able to find out where it is well um, after we had dusted um, the um, seawater pump uh, we found the leak to be at the back if it was at the front it would just be a gasket but it's actually at the back of the seawater pump um, now <clears throat> the guy said um, you know we should be all right to get to uh, Bangor which is where we're going but I'd absolutely kick myself if um, that failed going across the Irish Sea. Um, so we've decided to get that sorted in Hollyhead. 
Well, this is our uh, starter motor. It has been removed and uh, it's going to go and get it serviced. Um, so that entails cleaning the brushes, new brushes and um, fiddling with some magnets. Fiddling with some magnets and just making sure that that's all done. Excellent. So that's it there. <laughs> Hopefully it all got sorted. This is our um, seawater pump hosing. That's where your leaky bit was. And this is where our leaky bit is. Is that all salt and things on there? Yeah. yeah. Um, can like I just uh, put it into the light? Sorry. It's okay. Anyway, so this is where the, um, the leak is coming from at the back. But apparently there is a seal in here. Um, so the uh, mechanic is um, going to get that all sorted for us. But he's going to also fit our new impeller. So which, you're, which you're going to get out. Which I'm going to go and get out. Right. Hollyhead Marina was devastated by Storm Emma in March 2018. All that is left now is the big empty space you can see here. The remains of some of the pontoons are still visible and the clean-up is still underway. But progress is being made and plans have been drawn up to replace the whole marina. So this is the plans for the uh, new marina. Um, they're going to be putting in the sea wall um, start of April 2020 um, with the pontoons um, 2021. Um, so basically they're going to actually have a um, this is a seawall that you could actually drive on because there'll be um, the trucks will be coming down here um, and dumping the rubble. Well, I um, came into Hollyhead uh, Marina yesterday and uh, because I like challenges, um, I said to Beverly, right, okay, this is a marina I've never been before, so I'll um, come into this marina. <laughs> the only issue is that Beverly had gone through and sort of like where I can get information, like Navionics, our own chart, the pilotage guide, all the rest of it. And the problem is, reality is completely different <laughs> to what we actually have. Uh, because I think it was about two years ago, there was a huge storm here and basically the whole marina got wrecked and none of the charts have been updated since then. So, uh, <sighs> oh, it was definitely... I hadn't a clue what I was aiming, you know, it was a case of coming in and looking at it and deciding what we were going to do. Whilst the mechanic was busy, we went for a little walk. It's amazing what you can come across. We had a little bit of a shock when we found Hollyhead Coast Guard because it looks a bit small. But then we saw all the Coast Guard things and realised it's a bit bigger than it looked. So then, our plans for world domination take a step forward. We're in. Well, we've got into um, Hollyhead uh, Coast Guard because we just wanted to say thank you because they did help um, an awful lot um, with the RNOI rescue in Beaumaris. They were the ones who were coordinating uh, Beaumaris RNOI to come out and see us. Um, on top of that, um, when we were coming out of the anchorage, uh, they were monitoring us every hour just to keep an eye on us. Just keep an eye on us and stuff like that. And that was just really useful. And it's just nice to say thank you to people. When we got back, we had two surprises. One of them was quite nice. Well, we're in uh, Hollyhead, and um, uh, one of uh, the boats that we, Bev and I, went on last year just turned up. Um, Pride of Man 3 and Sailing for the Disabled. We'll put a link uh, to the video we did of that day um, up there. <laughs> but um, if you know anybody who is disabled in around the um, Irish Sea, uh, then you know getting them onto that boat is a fantastic opportunity for them. Unfortunately, our other surprise was not so nice. Alas, poor fender step, we knew you well. But your time has finally come. As you can see, he's um, 
developed a bad case of the splits. Well, this tiny little uh, gasket is what was causing us to have that little leak. Um, and I have to say, when I look at it, because it costs not an awful lot really to get it replaced but anyway when i look at it i just think oh for a washer an engine was lost okay so there's our starter motor um apparently um it was nearly seized so uh it's re you know it was a good thing we got that done so our engine trouble, which was when we had it back in Belfast Lock, could well have been uh, the starter motor um, going. Well, um, last night, um, I, um, I'm i terrible, I must admit this, but uh, <laughs> I, I found somebody who I knew uh, who was in Hollyhead. So um, we got invited to... Hollyhead uh, Sailing Club um, and it's lovely to meet people and talk about boats and which way is the best way to get out of places and getting all the local knowledge um, because we're Bev and I are very keen on local knowledge. After the lollipops were eaten we had time for a wander around the older parts of the harbour and to look over the seawall. Then it was time to leave Hollyhead and head out to sea. We could not have done it without Stuart the Engineer and his details are in the video description below. The top guy, great mechanic. Okay. <sighs> Beverly and I have uh, left uh, Hollyhead and um, as you can see on the chart, uh, just outside Hollyhead is a um, traffic of separation uh, area. No traffic that way. Oh, it's a bevy trying to sleep. And no traffic that way. So we'll keep an eye on that. We watched the sunset and settled down for a long night passage across the Irish Sea. Oh, just about. And it's gone.